Hi, it's Terry Gaines. Stampin' Up! makes creating so easy with their coordinating products and their beautiful samples in their catalogs. In this video, I'm going to share the samples on page 56 of Stampin' Up!'s 2022-2023 annual catalog. Those samples are created with the Abigail Rose collection of product. These samples are absolutely beautiful. And if you would like to duplicate these samples, I have made that easier to do by creating a PDF you can download that will give you the different layer dimensions and um, all the details on how you could duplicate these. If you wanna duplicate them with the Stampin' Up! colors and the product they use, on my blog post, I have a PDF you can download that Stampin' Up! has created that shares all the recipes for all the samples in the annual catalog. I am going to share some samples that I used the Abigail Rose collection of product with some different color choices. So let me first share a little bit about what I use for my samples. I am using the stamp set and the dies for the samples. I'm using the designer series paper, which coordinates with these beautiful colors. Um, but I'm going to use some different colors to color these in. I'm going to use Calypso Coral, So Saffron, and Granny Apple Green for one set of cards I created. And then I'm going to use Fresh Freesia, Granny Apple Green, Daffodil Delight, and Highland Heather for another set of cards. I did use the samples as inspiration and this card sketch flyer to assist me in creating the samples. Stampin' Up! sample for A, which I have identified. Let me talk a little bit more about this flyer. So we have five samples I identified as A, B, C, D, and E. And here I have them labeled A, B, C, D, and E. For the card base, it's an A2 size. So you can use an eight and a half by 11, I'm sorry, eight and a half by five and a half, folded or in half or scored at four and a quarter for your card base. Or you can use an 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half or folded in half for your card base and have your orientation um, for the card. I'm gonna share a little bit details about this first card. I have a layer identified so you have your card base and then you work from the back up, then you would put down your three by five and a half layer and then there is a three and a half by five. I've used this layout along with what Stampin' Up! has here and cut this um, die out. I then cut the die out of that opening and then you will get a layer like this. What Stampin' Up! did and what I did is we put the designer series paper behind that sample and there's a sheet of the designer series paper that has the images that get cut out. So um, I'm going to lay this over. So if you can see these samples that I, this, that I colored in, if you lay this d opened die over it, you can see all those images. So how I use this is I place the die over here and pencil in around that die so I know what images to cut out. And then I trim, I'm sorry, what images to color in. And then I know what to cut out to layer behind the image. Stampin' Up! sample does not have them colored in. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple colored in. But before I do that, I wanna give you another tip. There are just a few of these that can be cut out. There's one up here that cuts off the top part of the leaves but go down here and utilize those to piece that together and then you can get another set of those floral images to color in. So I'm gonna bring my samples in and here's the samples that I created. I did run this layer through the time-worn type 3D folder after I cut it out. And on this set, I have the coral, and here I have the fresh freesia. You can see I use the basic black behind here and the coral here. This one layered behind, I have Stampin' Up! has some of the ribbon. I put some different color ribbon here, and here I have a piece of cardstock. I do want to share that some of my cards, I utilize a new set of dies in the annual catalog. They are car called the duckled rectangle dies. And some of these, um, for example, this one will cut out, I use to cut out that layer. So as I may have mentioned, you can not add as many layers, but you can also change the layer size. So this is my samples, my inspiration for card A 
on using those two colors. For card B, we have this one Stampin' Up stamped their card front, um, a layer with the stamp set. So for my Fresh Freesia one, that's what I did also. I added an extra layer um, of the basic black. I did use the element that Stampin' Up! has on theirs, and I did add an extra layer behind my sentiment. I just colored in the images on the detail part just to give it a different look. For this other sample I have, I used designer series paper and fussy cut around it and layered it onto the very vanilla. Because it's a, a very vanilla colored designer series paper, it camouflages any of your imperfections for fussy cutting, which I'm, I love that it camouflages those. But I chose not to use the entire um, layer as designer series paper because I wanted to cut the rest of these out and utilize them for other projects. So this just shows you how I um, improvised and just used it for inspiration. So those are my samples for B. For C, the card sketch flyer um, has the dimensions. This layer is uh, slanted. This ribbon is 7 eighths of an inch wide, so I identified that as being a 7 eighths inch strip of cardstock or a piece that you can cut on an angle. So for both of my samples, I use the cardstock instead of the ribbon, and I cut that on a slant. I did use the deckled rectangles for both of them, and having the Fresh Freesia for the color on the back kind of pops out that color a little bit for the image, and this one's more subtle. Both of my samples, I chose not to add the additional decorative images, and both of them I did add the sentiment. So just by changing the colors of the cardstock and the um, images, you can really change the, the, the look of your card. So now we're down to the packaging, which as I mentioned, I turned that into a card size and I've identified this layer as five and a half by three. And what I did for both of these is they're very similar. I chose to texturize the, let's see if I can get all this on the video. I chose to texturize the layer and not have the designer series paper. And I chose not to put the sentiment on my sample. Um, but you could add a sentiment to both of these. I just chose to leave those off. But I also created a few more cards. This is an option for the Fresh Freesia set of cards where I used the designer series paper and I colored it in. Because I colored it in, I chose not to add additional sentiments and um, add additional images. I did add a sentiment. I chose not to add the ribbon. So flexibility is, um, is you can use on these card sketch ideas. And I have a couple more that I had colored in with this is um, just some different colors. This is the Highland Heather, colored in a few layers to get um, a darker purple. And then this is the Cherry Cobbler. And I have one more sample kind of using that card sketch. This is the Designer Series paper colored in with the coral blends. And I started out using this card sketch, but I just improvised and just added a sentiment with some tag punches on there. So as I mentioned, you can um, use these for inspiration or change them up. The last sample is this beautiful sample that Stampin' Up! has here. We have a three and a quarter, three and three quarters by three and three quarters layer here. What I did do is I used the decal rectangles and actually created a square for this sample and used a different image than Stampin' Up! did for their sample. And on this one, I used the Fresh Freesia for my card base and I used a different image that I colored in and you can really change the look of your cards by changing the colors. So I hope you found inspiration with this video and know that you can use the samples that Stampin' Up! has, the beautiful samples as inspiration and utilize the colors that you would like. If you found me via YouTube, as I mentioned, there's a direct link to my blog post where you can um, download the PDF. I will also have photos of all of these cards 
And on my next video, I'm going to share details on how I use the Stamparatus to stamp the die cuts and a little bit more details on this die and how you can utilize the die to cut out some of the images. And I'm also going to show how I colored in these images with the blends. Um, I would love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the red bell, I'm sorry, the red box under the video, then select the red bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks for stopping by, take care and happy creating.